What's up, Metalheads? I'm Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel, and we are back with another knife sale. So, are you guys ready? You guys ready to check out some of these awesome knives? I know I'm ready. Actually, I've already checked out all these awesome knives. Although, there's a few here right now that I haven't really had my hands on, other than just a second to look at them. So, um, um, I'm kind of hoping those don't sell real quick, so I'll get time to play with them before they go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you want them, buy them. Uh, okay. So I'm going to go over how the sale works for all the new subscribers and new channel members. I also let you guys know, if you are not a channel member, channel members had access to this video 24 hours in advance. Uh, this is coming out on YouTube on November the 19th at 6 p.m. Eastern. But this video was released to channel members on November 18th at 6 p.m. Eastern. So they get 24 hours early access to the knife sale videos. Uh, basically gives them, um, you know, first pick of the knives. So if you're uh, interested, if you buy lots of knives and you see stuff here you like, then um, maybe worth your uh, time to time and money to become a channel member. It's only two ninety nine a month. All right, let's go over how you purchase a knife. If you want to buy a knife? Just also, if you guys have been in previous knife sales in the past, everything's the same. Nothing's changed. But I'm gonna go over this again for all the new uh, subscribers. Um, if you see a knife you want to buy in the video, look down in the description of the video and you'll see a list of the knives. Look next to the, the knife you want and see if it says sold. If it says sold, obviously it's no longer available. If it does not say sold, then you can email me. And you're going to email me at bravo echo delta charlie knife cell at gmail.com. That's B-E-D-C knife cell at gmail.com. Email me and let me know which knife or knives you want and um, I will reply back to your email and let you know the total and where to make payment, which PayPal address to make payment to. Um, if you buy more than one knife, uh, you get $5 off each knife. So if you buy two knives, you get a total of $10 off, not 10 off each knife, $5 off each knife. If you say you buy all three of these bureaus, you would get $15 off, $5 off each knife. The price of the knives includes shipping. So if you buy multiple knives, then we don't have to spend as much on shipping. So we pass that savings on to you guys, try to help you guys out. Um, now when you make payment, only make payment using paypal friends and family do not use paypal goods and services do not put anything in your comments of your payment about a knife please do not do that uh, paypal does not like knives they think they're weapons or something like that so uh, you know just trying to avoid all that also avoid all the fees and and you know paypal started that thing now you gotta pay taxes and all this all this stuff so uh if you make payment with paypal goods and services your your payment will be refunded um we're you only pay with uh, uh friends and family if you're uncomfortable paying with friends and family i completely understand that but i've done several of these knife sales and we've never had a problem everybody's always got exactly what they pay for and they got it quickly all knives will be shipped um using usps priority mail um within generally the following business day but it, sometimes depending on what time you make the knife purchase it may be the next business day right if you make it late at night when uh i've already gone to bed then you're going to skip a day and get it the next day so um i think that's about it um i'm gonna pick up each knife here show it to you guys let you know the price let you know the you know the blade still what's going on with it and uh move on to the next one if you do have any other questions comment on this video i'll be happy to answer any questions you have um and uh, i think that's about it i think i've covered everything um yeah that should be it so let's jump right in all right, and I have a spreadsheet here I'm going to be looking at. I'm going through these in a specific order and uh, reading off it because I can't remember the blade still and all these and all that stuff. So, all right, we're going to start with some Tucsons. The first one is the Tucson TS-134 Burlwood Handles. Beautiful Burlwood, by the way. This one is a Tepe design, if I remember correctly. Yes, Tepe design. And the blade still on this one's 14C28N. Um, it has a little light use to it. There may be some marks on it, but it overall it is in excellent condition. Price on the TS-134 is $60. And it does come with the box and all just like it would if you were to buy it uh, new. Next up, all these Tucson's come in the box just like you'd buy them new, by the way. Next up is the TS-180 by Tucson. This one's a front flipper, two-tone blade, burlwood handles again, another Tepe design. Um, this one is also 14C28N, and it's in fantastic condition. 
couple little marks on the blade there, but nothing too, too serious. So uh, overall, fantastic condition. Price on this one is also $60. Great action, great front flipping action on this one. Next up is a little Tucson, the TS-128. This one is an S90V blade still. Uh, carbon fiber show side, titanium frame lock on the lock side. Titanium clip, another Tepe design. S90V blade still on this one. Excellent condition. Price on the TS-128 is $65. Next up, we have a Tucson flashlight. This is the Tucson TS LED 06. Um, I don't know all the details on it. I know it's double A, a couple double A batteries in there. And it's a titanium flashlight with a jig pattern on the titanium. Very cool flashlight. Very nice looking. Be fun to anodize this one, actually. So, yeah. I don't have the specs. Look them up online if you want to find out the lumens and all that. Uh, just Google Tucson TS LED 06. All right, next up is the Tucson TS-136, a.k.a. the Stingray. One of the Tucson's better-looking knives, in my opinion. Uh, beautiful carbon fiber overlays. Titanium pocket clip, titanium backspacer, M390 blade still. Fantastic action on this one. Fantastic action. Front flipper also, and the reverse flick is money. Great knife here. And the price on this one is going to be eighty dollars has very very minimal signs of use so that is an absolute steal guys for this knife absolute steal all right guys next up is a little chunk this is the tucson ts-154 uh front flipper and reverse flicker um this one is d2 blade still this one looks like it's brand new um i don't see i haven't i don't see any signs that it's been used at all very good ergos on this little guy here. It's not that little. It's just, it's thick. Thicker than a Snickers, you know what I mean? Not real thick, but very, very comfortable in hand. Titanium backspacer, titanium back clip. Um, nice sheep's foot blade. Very good ergos. Really like this knife a lot. D2 blade still. Fantastic action, too. I gotta stop flipping knives while looking through the camera. I need to look at the knife before I actually cut myself. So, price on the TS-154 uh, is gonna be $85. That's a great deal there, guys. All right, next up is one of Tucson's more premium knives. This is the Tucson TS-190. This one's a flipper. Beautiful blade on this knife. It's got some marks on it. Let me wipe that off. It does have a couple, one little scratch. Those aren't scratches. Those are oil. It's got that one little scratch right there in the blade. Other than that, it's beautiful condition. Titanium frame lock. Beautiful milling on the titanium. Very comfortable in hand. Fantastic action. One shake and she comes down. Very, very good action on this knife. The uh, TS-190 is M390 blade still, and the price on this one is also $85. Great deal. Another great deal there, guys. Next up, we have the Tucson TS-191. Uh, titanium frame lock, carbon fiber inlays. Titanium pocket clip, titanium backspacer. This one's a flipper. Makes a great sound on open, like a whoosh, like a swoosh. Stop looking through the camera, Jamie, before you cut yourself. But this one is uh, D2 blade still, and uh, beautiful knife. Beautiful knife. Keep it on the camera, be better. This one, I think, is another. Who designed this one? This one is a uh, night morning design. Or no, uh, Mazwan Mokhtar, I believe that is. Very good ergos. Great little, great, just larger knife. So is the last one. Pretty big, medium-sized hand here. So uh, I do have reviews or overviews of most all these knives also, guys. I want to point that out. So if you see something here and you want to see more detail on the knife, uh, go on my YouTube channel and search for the knife you're looking for and see if I have an overview of it. Uh, it may help you make your decision. Price on the TS-191 is $75. Next up, we have the Tucson TS-263. This is a really cool knife. Um, micarta inlays on this one. Feels really good, too. Interesting design on this one. Titanium pocket clip, titanium backspacer. This one's front flipper only, and I missed it. Um, so it has a polished blade, so it's going to show 
every mark possible on it. And it has a few marks on it, just so you know. Um, and it is priced accordingly. It's front flipper only. It's your only deployment option. But the front flipper works fantastic. You can do the knuckle roll, all the tricks with it. Um, the price on the TS-191 is going to be, and this one is, uh, or 263, I'm sorry. This one is 14C28 and blade steel. Price on this one is $80. Very good deal on this knife for 14C. Can't go wrong. Next up is the Tucson TS-300. This is the uh, lightning nano, heat anode version of this knife. And I cannot get the color. I cannot get my camera to do the color on this justice. All those lines in there are blue. It's hard to see it on the camera. It won't show up. All those lightning lightning looking marks on there. It's all blue. You got a lot of gold and magenta in it. Um, this one is M3 or 14C28 and also, excuse me. And this, like I said, this one does have the lightning nano, titanium pocket clip, titanium. Uh, no backspacer on this one. Um, Good looking knife. Great, fantastic action on this one too. This one's a straight guillotine. Great reverse flicking and thumb flicking action on this one. Great sounds too. Really good ting on the clothes. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Polished and lightning nano looks so good. And I, the camera just will not do it justice. I cannot get it to show up right on camera no matter what I do. I guess you can see some of the blue when I hit the reflection just right. But price on the TS-300 is $155. All right, next up, we're moving on to an A-Purvis Primordial MK3. Um, awesome knife. I'm a big fan of this knife. Uh, it's out of my budget, but uh, I don't know if it wasn't. I would pick this one up for sure. Carbon fiber, titanium frame lock. Um, uh, <clears throat> the owner has added the Zerkatai clip and backspacer, but the original clip and backspacer are also included. Fantastic condition. Yeah, I really like this one, man. That, it looks so good with that Zerkatai. Again, it never, the camera never does it justice, but man, it's beautiful. Uh, price on the Primordial... And it's M390 blade still, if I didn't say that. Um, and that's Zerkatai. Zerkatai clip and backspacer. Price on this one is $285. That is a still. This knife costs more than that just for the knife, not including the additional hardware. So, uh, fantastic deal on that. Next up, we have a Devo Stout. Everybody knows Devo Stout at this point. And just to FYI, I saw a lefty post on uh, Instagram. He got some fat carbon uh, scales to put on this. Oh, man, it looked good with this black finish. This thing is a straight guillotine, guys. This is the second one of these I've had in hand, and both of them are like that. Just completely free fall drop action. Ding. Uh, these are 20 CV blades still. Price on this one's $230, and you even get your bougie pouch with it, and the box, of course. <laughs> bougie, bougie. With a gold zipper, right up Lefty's Alley. All right, next up, another knife I really, really like. This is the uh, Pena uh, Trapper. This is the Jig Titanium version. It's a frame lock. This one has a front flipper and a top flipper. I'm not going to do a top flip because I'm over top of a lot of other knives, and I'm not good at top flipping. But the uh, front flipping action is fantastic. Stop looking through the camera, Jamie. Yeah, great action. Smaller knife, modern traditional. Really good ergos for, yeah, I really like this knife a whole lot. M390 blade still. Fantastic condition. This is another one of those I can't find anything really on this knife. It looks brand new to me. Beautiful, beautiful knife. Pena does such a good job. I'm pretty sure these are OEM by Riyadh also. 99% sure of that, but don't hold me to that. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, price on the Trapper is $240. These are sold out everywhere, and they're priced pretty much quite a bit higher than that if they ever are in stock. So, great deal on that one, too. Next up is the Microsoft LUDT, a.k.a. La, uh, Large Underwater Demolition Team Knife. This one's uh, obviously a side fire and automatic. This is M390 blade steel, aluminum handles. This is an awesome knife, man. I wish um, automatics were not illegal where I live. I can't close this one and keep firing it. 
but I do have an overview of this. Um, this thing makes such a cool noise on the clothes. Go watch my overview video of it if you want more on it. I've only got one hand now and I need two hands to operate this knife. So uh, that's about all you're going to get from me. Again, this thing looks, it looks brand new. It really does. A little bit of oil on the blade there. In fantastic condition. A little oil right there too. Uh, price on the LUDT is $230. Great deal on that one too, guys. All right, next up, we are moving on to some Vero's. First Vero is going to be the Vero Axon. Murdered out, man. Man, it looks so good. Again, can't find any marks. Looks fantastic. Other than fingerprints and oil. Oil fingerprints, actually. These are M390 blades still. This one is missing the authenticity card. Uh, not sure. The owner doesn't know what happened to it, but it's it's authentic. I guarantee you that. It is an authentic Vero. So uh, I do want to make... Whoever decides to purchase this knife aware of that, you will not get your authenticity card with this one. But you do get the pouch and, uh, and the uh, patch there, just like you would. Price on this Axon. This is another one. This is a steal. Axon, $250 for this knife. Man, what a deal. Great, 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 great deal. Man. All right. Next up, another Vero. This is the Impulse. Another great looking knife. Again, guys, I have overview videos of a lot of these knives if you want to go look them up for more details. Let you see it real quick. Beautiful, beautiful stone wash finish on this one. Uh, this one's also M390 blade still. This one does have the uh, authenticity card. This one is a flipper. Great action. Larger knife for you larger guys or gals out there. But uh, great action for a larger knife. Price on the Impulse. And this is the second run, by the way. M390 blade still has a couple snail trails here and there. Like you can see one little mark right here in the pocket clip I can find. See that right there? Um, I think there was one more little mark on the pocket clip up here somewhere. But overall, fantastic condition. The uh, impulse is 300 even. Next up, we have the Vero Synapse XL, a large knife, JG10, uh, titanium everything, M390 blade still. This is a big knife, but man, for a big knife, does it have good action? Give you some close ups here. If anybody out there wants more pictures or close-ups of any of the knives in the video, comment below or message me on Instagram if you're on Instagram. And I can send you something better if you need to see more. Price on the uh, Synapse XL. This one's missing the patch, by the way. No patch with this one. The patch is not on there. So, But the uh, authenticity card is in there. And 325 on the Synapse XL. Next up, Civivi Cogent. This one's a steal, guys. This is the partially serrated version. Very light focus camera. Very light use. You can see a couple marks on the blade there. But overall, in great condition. No button stick at all on this one. A couple marks in the pocket clip here. Great action. And this one's priced to sell, guys. If you've been wanting to pick one of these up on a budget, you can pick this one up for $35. That is a still, and it has the, all the goodies like you'd get bought it new. So, 35 bucks on the Cogent. The Cogent is 14C 28 in blade still. Next up, we have the Reich Knife Hummingbird Plus. The Hummingbird Plus is N690 blade still, G10 scales, G10 backspacer. Uh, a little bougie uh, liner and pocket clip for you there. Match lefty zipper. A little gold action going on. Very interesting knife. They make some little mini versions of these knives that are like keychain knives. This is a larger version of it. Flipper action's really good. Reverse waking action's really good. Uh, looks looks pretty much new. I mean, fantastic condition. Very colorful knife. Great action though. Price on the Hummingbird Plus is going to be $65. Another great deal. Look them up. Look up the prices of these guys. This next one's an absolute steal for sure. 
This is the Dam Designs Banshee. Now, this one does show some use, but it's priced to sell, guys. You talk about a guillotine. You can see some marks here, right? This knife's been used a little bit. No doubt about it. But if you need a user, 14C 28N titanium with the liner lock, straight guillotine action. I mean, buy this knife for a user, you got a great deal. This knife is uh, $55. That's a steal. That is a steal for this knife. Has the microfiber in the box, too. But, you know, this is one you can buy and not feel guilty about using it. And beat the crap out of this knife and be good to go. And this thing has, this thing would take, some, take a beating, too. The action is just ridiculous on it. This would be a good candidate for some anno, also. Um, since it has does have some use, you could anno this thing and do some cool stuff with the way these scales are done and the pivots done on damn designs. 55 bucks on that one, and it's 14C 28N. Next up, we have, uh, what was the next one? The EMP EDC Nimble X. Um, has the stickers and everything in the box. Blade is in fantastic condition. Focus camera. Pivot does have some scratches on it. Again, I have an overview, I think, of this where I talk about it. Pocket clip has some scratches on. Owner carried it in his back pocket and it got scratched up. Uh, but the blade and scales are in fantastic condition. And you can buy these hardware kits from EMP EDC to replace the pivot, the pocket clip, and all the screws for $39. So uh, it would look brand new if you did that. M390 blade still in this. That EMP EDC action everybody knows and loves. Fidget Monster, front flipping, flipper. This one has a great detent, too. I used to have one of these. I no longer have it. My detent was not good on mine. This one is fantastic. If mine would have had this detent, I probably would have kept it. Uh, price on the Nimble X is going to be $290. Great deal there on a Nimble, guys. Great deal. All right. Next up, we have... Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? There they are. We have Spyderco Schmock Scales. I should have had these out of the bag already. Bear with me here, guys. These are Zirconium Scales. For the Spyderco Schmock. And also... Zirconium pocket clip for the smock. These are Met and Boss. Uh, these run 200 bucks. You go buy them on Etsy or they sell them some other places too. But they run 200 bucks. I think this has something to do with the Mandalorian, if I remember correctly. That's a Mandalorian symbol. Yeah, but they're in great condition. And these are 120 bucks for the pocket for the pocket clip and the scales. 120 bucks. Zirconium, guys. Zirconium. That is an absolutely great deal. All right, and this is going to be the last one for this part of the video, then I'll, I'm going to have to reset and start a new new version of the video. It'll be a few minutes for me, but instant for you. Next up is the American Blade Works Model 1 Titanium Frame Lock Flipper. Made in the USA, guys. Made in the USA. These are hard to come by. Been sold out for a very long time, and they rarely show up for sale. Beautiful milling on these scales. Great people at the company that, where they make this knife. Uh, the American, the Model 1 is 20 CV blade still. And price on this one is going to be $270. That's a great deal. That's far less than if you were to go buy it new. And much less if you were to buy it on the secondary. Because people like to mark these up pretty high for which is not not very nice of them but i get it but we don't do that here 270 for the model one all right guys i'm gonna pause this and i'll bring you guys back momentarily all right guys i'm back i had to get something to drink my throat was getting a little dry there so we're just going to continue on with everything that's on the table here and then i'll clear this out and set up the rest and make another one and they'll all it'll all be uh spliced together for you guys all right next up is the finch knives buffalo tooth this is the titanium version with the jig, the jig titanium. Beautiful knife. This is an awesome knife. It's a, it's a chunker for sure. Surprisingly really good ergos, which shocked me. I didn't think the ergos would be any good on this knife, but they're actually really good. Very hand filling.
very tall blade. Yeah, this is an awesome knife, man. Titanium pocket clip. There's your Finch logo there. 154 CM blade still on the Buffalo Tooth. Price on the Buffalo Tooth is going to be $150 on the Buffalo Tooth. Next up is the Kunwoo Orion 2. Very cool knife. Nice finish on these scales. Orange peel finish here on the flat, milled out on the chamfered edges. You can see your milling lines on there. Titanium pocket clip, titanium backspacer with your lanyard hole for you lanyard folks out there. Get you some good shots of that blade. Great condition. Has all the stuff in the box just like you would buy it new. M390 blade still. Price on the Orion 2, $165. Nice, nice deal. Next up, Tempest Knives Pinion. I was actually surprised he sold, decided to sell this because I think he just got it. But he, he bought something else, so he decided to sell it. Um, this is a uh, uh, knife designed by Casey over at Knives Fast. Uh, these are pretty popular, actually. This one has fantastic action. Drop shutty as can be. Great detent. 14C28 and blade still on this. Price on this one is $65. And it looks fantastic. Yeah, $65 on the pinion, guys. Next up, we have two three knife combo packs. Each, there's three knives in each combo. Uh, these knives do not, these knives are used. Uh, they do not include a box or anything. All you would get this knife inside some bubble wrap. First, first combo pack is going to be the Kubi Vagrant. And the Kubi Vagrant is uh, OS 10 blade still. Great condition overall. Got a little marking on the scales there, but nothing too bad. Great for somebody that's just starting a collection or somebody that wants some good user knives. Next is the Civivi Ortis. The Ortis is 10CR15 MOV blade still. Beautiful hollow grind on this knife. Again, slightly used condition, but very lightly used. These are G10 scales. Both of these knives have G10, by the way. Uh, and the last one in this group is going to be the Civivi Hadros, or Hadros, uh, Mallory design. I got some fingerprints on there, but... Those three knives, you get all three for 60 bucks. That's a great deal for these three knives. You're looking at uh, well over $100 for those three knives. You were to go buy them, you get all three for 60. The next combo like that is the Civivi uh, Asticus. Big knife, hollow grind, uh, D2 blade still on the Asticus. I don't see hardly any signs of use on this one. Fantastic condition, actually, and I'm not even under the camera. With this one, you also get the Civivi Mini Asticus with brass scales. This one has some weight to it. It feels really good in hand. Wasn't under the camera again. Pay attention, Jamie. Pay attention, Jamie. Yeah, this one has some weight to it. This is the mini, but it weighs more than the regular because of those brass scales. But man, it makes it feel substantial in hand. It feels really good in hand. And with the two Asticus and the mini Asticus, uh, uh, a mini Asticus and an Asticus. Also a Kershaw Camber. This is an assisted knife. Uh, the uh, all the the mini Asticus is 10 CR 15 CO MOV blade still, and the camber is S 30 V blade still. This is an assisted knife, just FYI. The 
careful not to cut myself. And those three are 60 bucks also. So these three are one combo for 60. These three are another combo for 60. Uh, all right. Next up, we have a Migoron Vaso front flipper. Gentleman's knife. Looks practically new or new. I'm not claiming anything as perfect new, but it looks looks really good. My, I think these are micarta scales. I'm not sure about that though. It could be G10, but I think they're I'm pretty sure it's micarta. Great front flipping action. Great gentleman's carry. Thin and sleek titanium pocket clip. The price on the Vaso is $30. And that is DC 53 blade still, by the way. Next up, we have a Spyderco Astute. One of Spyderco's more budget knives. The Astute is 8CR13 MOV blade still. Price on the Astute is $40. This is one of Spyderco's budget knives, but has great action and great detent. Next up, we have a Asher Spiro. The Asher Spiro is S35VN blade still. Oh, not under the camera again. Do that again. Sorry, guys. It's getting late here. S35VN blade still. Got some oil coming out of the pivot there. Really good condition. Beautiful finish on the lock side there. G10 on this side. Pocket clip filler tab. Can't remember if these are. Uh, Titanium or steel? I don't remember. Either way, it's $55. So if you want to ask your Spiro, you didn't get one, here's your chance to pick one up. 55 bucks. Great action on this knife. This would be a great user knife. Great EDC knife. Thin, not very heavy, good size, and fantastic action. And S35 VN blade steel. 50, 55 bucks on that one, guys. Next up, we have... The Kaiser Critical Mini Christensen Knife Works design. I can never say Christensen. I don't know why. My card of scales. Great blade shape. Love the Warncliffe blade shape. This knife has fantastic action. Got flipper. You can thumb flick it. And the reverse flick is money. Excellent condition. Price on the Critical Mini is going to be... Oh, this is CPM 3V blade steel, by the way. Price on the Critical Mini is going to be $85. Man, that's a steal. I love this knife, too. All right, next up, we have two Finch Devil's Fingers. We have a red Micarta Devil's Finger with the black wash blade and black hardware in, like, new condition. These are both 154 CM still, by the way. And we also have the green micarta version with the satin finish. Come on, camera, focus. Price on each of these, 90 bucks each on, on the two devil's fingers. Next up, we have a wee banter. Everybody knows the banter. Everybody knows and loves the banner. Great EDC knife, hand filling, but not too big. Great action. I mean, it is a Wii after all. The Wii banter is S35VN blade still. This one's in fantastic condition, has fantastic action. Um, price on the banter is going to be uh, 90, 80, no, 85 bucks. 85 bucks on the banter. Sorry about that. Next up, we have a Fair and Forge Stinger. The Fair and Forge Stinger currently has uh, Cerebrus uh, red G10 scales on it, but it includes the original green scales that came with the knife. Again, fantastic action. Another great EDC knife, guys. Thin and slicey blade and fantastic ergos, especially with that forward finger toil. Great knife, great action, great flipper action and reverse flicking action. You can't go wrong with a Stinger. They're just so good. The Fuller has done so good on this knife. It's hard to even miss it. As I miss it, I keep looking through the camera to do this, and I'm going to cut myself before this is all over with. About guaranteed. Price on the Stinger is going to be... Uh, 
$70 on the Stinger, $70 with the extra scales. Great deal. Next up, we have the CJRB Scoria. Great looking knife here with that black blade and those maroonish looking scales. Titanium clip. AA RPM 9 blade still, the proprietary still. Focus camera. Yeah, excellent condition. Like new condition. Price on the Scoria is going to be. Gotta look over at my spreadsheet. I'm getting further away here, guys. Bear with me. Scoria is going to be $62 on the Scoria. Next up, we have the Best Tech Lion. Beefier knife from Best Tech. BG, uh, beefier budget knife. Fantastic action on the Lion. This is one of their older models, but this one's in like new condition. Liner lock. Lion is D2 blade still, and the Lion is $40. Next up, I've already opened this one because it is a slip joint and I can't do it one handed. This is the Lion Steel Best Man 1. This is the carbon fiber edition. with titan It's titanium carbon fiber M390 blade steel. I think that's really good walk and talk. I'm not even going to try to do this on camera with holding the camera in one hand. So, uh, yeah. Let's get you some closer looks at it here. Yeah. Excellent condition. Uh, price on the best man is going to be $100 even. Next up, we have the Monterey Bay Knives EWC. Hold on, guys. I'm going to pause this. I'll be right back with the EWC. Sorry about that, guys. Somebody was at the door. So moving on with the Monterey Bay Knives EWC. This which stands for Everywhere Carry. This is a double detent knife. Super fun to play with. It's a non-locking knife, though. Be aware of that. This is a Ray Laconico design. Titanium uh, blades, titanium uh, handles, titanium pocket clip, titanium backspacer, and blade steel is M390. I love this knife. Super fun to play with. and Great looking knife, great ergos. Just you gotta be careful with it if you're gonna use it. Be aware of what you have in your hand because this one will come down on you if you're not careful. But man, it's an awesome knife. Uh, the price on the EWC is going to be $160. Next up, we have a Civivi Elementum. This is the one with the wood handles, black wash blade, black hardware, black everything, black and wood. And uh, it also includes a set of carbon fiber scales with it that are in like new condition also, it looks like. Uh, price on the, and the Elementum is uh, D2 blade steel. Price on this Elementum with those scales, $55. Man, what a deal. That is a fantastic deal. So, all right, guys, I got to uh, box all these up, clear them off, bring out the next set of knives and continue on the video so it's going to be 10 or 15 minutes for me two or three seconds for you be right back all right metalheads i am back we're going to continue on down the list and the next one on the list is one of my favorite bench maids of all time probably the best bench made action i've felt on a knife yet or best access lock action i've felt on a knife that's what i should say that's the bench made mini freak beautiful knife carbon fiber i love the red accents Kind of matches my new bug out build. I wish this one was in my budget because I would buy it for sure. Absolutely love this knife. Price on the uh, Mini Freak is $200. That is a complete still. Look them up. You'll understand what I mean. 200 bucks on the uh, uh, Mini Freak and it is S90V blade still. Next up, we have the Benchmade Foray. Foray, F-O-R-A-Y. Uh, this one is 20 CV blade still. Really cool Benchmade. A little beefier than many of the other bench maids you're going to feel. has a little more weight to it. It's not heavy, but compared to like a bug out or that, Mini Freak has a little weight to it. Feels really good in hand. Great action. Price on the Faux Ray, which is 20 CV if I didn't say it already, is $160. Next up, we have one I'm going to open one time. D2 
the Kershaw Launch 11. Fantastic little EDC size automatic knife. Side firing automatic. 154 CM blade steel. Good looking knife, man. Kershaw killed it on this one. They really did. Made in the USA. Such a good looking knife. Price on the uh, Launch 11 is going to be... Hold on, let me verify something real quick. Uh, apparently I marked the wrong spot right there. I got another copy over here though. Bear with me, guys. Sorry about that. Yep. Kershaw Launch 11 is $100. Next up, we have the Cold Steel Holdout. Very thin knife from Cold Steel, covered in my fingerprints, which I'm going to wipe off for you right now. I thought I already wiped this one down. I guess I forgot. But bear with me, guys. Let me wipe off the fingerprints there. All right. Much better. Cold Steel Holdout, a very thin knife from Cold Steel, backlock. This one's actually uh, one of their nicer knives, in my opinion. i got to be careful with backlocks on camera, guys. One-handed, you know what I mean? You can flick this knife out with some effort. A little wrist action, but it is a backlock. The Holdout is uh, 4034 stainless steel, very thin knife. Thinner than a bug out. I mean, super, super, super thin. Super, super lightweight also. I'd guess two ounces, right in the two ounce range. Uh, price on the holdout is going to be $60. Next up, we have a beast of a knife. The Cold Steel SR1 Lite. And it is anything but light. This is a monstrous knife. A monstrous backlock. And I cannot close this one one-handed because that blade will come down and get me. The uh, SR1 Lite is 8CR13 MOV blade steel, and the price on it is $35. And we'll kind of have to sit this one special here. Here, let's do this. We'll share the box with that one. All right, next up, the Spyderco Chaparral. This is the Sun and Moon Edition. One of the best uh, fifth pocket little EDC knives you can get right here. Great ergos, fantastic ergos for such a little knife. Super thin, slicey blade, another backlock. Really, really good action on this, this the Spyderco backlocks. This one's fantastic. Uh, blade still on this one is CTS XHP, and the price on it is $150. Next up, we have the Asher Knives uh, Picket. Very cool little knife. I have one of these. Mine was one of the factory seconds. This one is not. This is one of the originals. And it is in beautiful condition. Great little EDC knife. Price on the Asher Picket is going... And it's S35VM blade still, by the way. It is $25 for the Picket. Fantastic deal. Next up, we have the Bird Blades Iron Pup. This one comes in a wee pouch. Just a wee pouch. Uh, it was actually OEM by Wii, but I do not know how it came originally, if it came in a box or how it originally came. Uh, has a beautiful mirrored polished edge on it. Extremely sharp, deep hollow grind. Uh, blade steel in the Burke Blades Iron Puff is 20 CV. Price is $200. That's another one, man. That's a steal. That is a steal at that price. All right, next up we have the Petrified Fish PF949X. Super, super slicey blade on this one. I did an overview of this. This thing has one of those ridiculous edges on it. Natural micarta scales. Good looking knife too, man, from Petrified Fish. I really like this one too. I like all of them though. It does have a choil there to choke up. Feels really good in hand. Super lightweight. Blade still in the uh, Petrified Fish is K110. Price on it is $30. Next up, we have the Kaiser Wonderer. This one is a uh, Justin Lundquist design. Very different look from Justin. Titanium frame lock. This is one of Kaiser's older knives. I swear, man, they used to make knives better than they make them now. They still make good knives, don't get me wrong, but you don't see stuff like this from them too often anymore. Very good action. Feels fantastic in hand. The uh, Kaiser Wonder is S35V in blade still, and the price on it is $110. Next up, we have a Made in the USA knife, the Case Marilla S35VM blade steel, uh, aluminum frame lock, buttery smooth action, buttery smooth lock bar, super smooth on the action on this one. Price on the Case Marilla is going to be $100. Got a little oil coming out there. 
need to wipe her down. Next up, we have the Artisan Cutlery Arion. This is the uh, Red Coral Micarta version, S35 VM blade steel, titanium frame lock, beautiful micro milling. I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but there's beautiful micro milling done on this knife. Super thin, super slicey, very lightweight for its size. Excellent detent on this knife. Fantastic detent, actually. I love these knives. A little big for me, but man, they're really good. Fantastic knives. Price on the Arion is $160. Next up, we have the Artisan Cutlery Centauri. This one is VG10 Damascus, carbon fiber show side, uh, titanium frame lock, has that same beautiful micro milling, great pocket clip. Fantastic looking knife, fantastic action too. Great front flipper, all the tricks. Love this one. Price on this one is, you can even reverse flick this knife without a fuller. The action is so good, it's so, so good. You don't even need a fuller, you can just fling it out there. Price on this one's $170 for the Centauri. Next up, we have a gorgeous knife. This is the Arc Form Slim Foot. This is the one with the uh, Mars Valley Fat Carbon inlay there. This is a flipper knife. God, that's a gorgeous knife. Do not know who the OEM is. If I had to guess, I'd say this is Riot. I'd almost guarantee it's Riot. Man, this is a nice knife. This thing is freaking fantastic. And this one's going to be priced to sell. Somebody's going to get a super deal on this knife. Look this one up uh, with the red the Mars Valley Fat Carbon. Uh, blade still on this is, uh, if I remember correctly, it's M390. Let me make sure. Yes, it is M390. $280, guys. $280 on this one. Somebody's getting a gift. I'm getting a gift with that one. Next up, we have the Concept Main Street. Very cool knife. Great Warncliffe blade shape. Micarta scales, titanium clip. Just a great knife, great action. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's 154 cm. Is it 154 cm? Yes, it is 154 cm. Price on the Main Street is $65. It's a great deal on this knife. Lightweight, slicey. Mm, this is a good one too. Very similar to the uh, uh, Critical, Concept Critical Mini, I think it is. Next up, we have the Ritter Hogue RSK. Everybody knows this knife, 20 CV blade still, the sunburst pattern on the G10 scales, fantastic ergos, fantastic action. This one's a steal for somebody too. Whoever picks this up, you're going to be a very happy camper. Look these up. This one is $120 and it is fantastic condition, guys. Fantastic condition. All right, next up we have... Uh, where are we at here? We've got to find my spot in my list here. We're going to my spreadsheet. Bear with me, guys. Got to mark where I'm at here. Uh, all right. Next up, we have the Spyderco Bradley 2. This one has uh, sharp dress knives and micarta scales installed on it. It is in fantastic condition. CPM M4 blade still on this one. Got some uh, lint on it. Let me wipe that off real fast. There we go. Bradley 2 is a very well-known knife. Great ergos. Liner lock. Fantastic action. Uh, price on the Bradley 2 with the sharp dress knife scales, $190. Hollow grind too, man. You don't see that too often from Spyderco. Deep hollow. Next up, we have a really cool uh, Spyderco. This is a Spyderco Advocate. A flipper, frame lock, Spyderco, titanium with orange pill finish. How often are you going to see one of these? I'd never seen one before this guy here. Very interesting knife. This one is also M4 blade steel. Beautiful knife, man. This is a really good looker here. Love the way they did the orange peel finish. Yeah, not often you see a frame lock from Spider Coves. Uh, price on the Advocate with an M4 blade still is $240. Next up, we have the Spider Co. Patadies. P A T Patadies, I think is how you pronounce it. One of Spider Coves more uh, budget friendly offerings. No, this one isn't the budget friendly one. Excuse me. This is not what I thought it was. 
This is the M390. Yeah, M390 blade steel. Very sleek and slim Spyderco here. I'm not even getting it on camera, but I am now. Sorry about that. Got a couple fingerprints on there for me, but man, good filling knife. And the, I'm probably destroying that name. I'm going to hold this up and let you guys read it. Patadies. Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, like I said, M390 blade still. Something else you don't see very often, Spyderco. This one's made in Italy. Price on the Patadies, if I'm saying that right, is $165. Next up, we have, mark my spot again, a very interesting knife. This is the Bradley Cutlery Alias One. Uh, beautiful knife. Gives me uh, Chris Reeves vibes with the blue thumb studs and the finish on the titanium. Although it looks nothing like Chris Reeves, it just gives me those vibes with the look of it. This is a knife I am not at all familiar with, but I like it. S30B blade steel, made in the USA. Titanium frame lock. Great thumb stud action. Fantastic thumb stud action, actually. Fantastic. Uh, the Bradley is $250, and that is an S35B. Yeah. Don't know much about this one, but I like it. What I've, what I've seen, I like. Next up, we have the Dam Designs Fenrir 14C28N. This is a looker here, man. Look at that blade. That just looks like it's ready to do some damage. Very comfortable in hand. Fantastic action on these knives. They are like guillotines. Yeah, and it's in fantastic shape also. Price on the Fenrir by Dam Designs is... $100 even. All right. Next up here. We just did that one. Next up we have the Petrified Fish Zero. Very interesting knife. Um, this one was popular a little while back. You see a lot of videos of this knife. It's all blacked out. Petrified Fish 2021. I'm not sure what they were doing with that, but I saw a lot of videos and people spoke highly of this knife and the action, and they were correct because this thing has ridiculously good action. It's 154 CM blade still. Really good access to the lock bar with the way they built this thing. Um, price on the Zero is going to be $50. That's a still, another still. Next up, we have some made in the USA goodness, Kershaw Skyline. This one's carbon fiber, and it has this finish on the blade here. Those aren't marks on the blade. That's how they finish this blade. You see that? It's like a wavy pattern on there. I'm not sure what you call that. It's not Damascus. It's not Damascus still. It's just somehow they finish this blade to make it look like that. I love the way this carbon fiber feels, though. It feels really good. Um, the Kershaw Skyline is 14C28N blade still. And the price on it is $45. All right, next up we have a Benchmade Prototype. This is the Emissary. Uh, don't know much about this knife, to be completely honest with you. Um, not sure what's going on back here. I guess you can lock it. Um, Yeah, you can lock it open. So that locks it open. Let me pull this back and it'll close. But this is an assisted knife. I don't think Benchmade made these for very long. They're not very well known. But yeah, and it's this one actually is a prototype. It says it on there. Prototype knife, January 2014. S30V blade still. Osborne's for the Osborne family. It's a 940 something. Price on the uh, Benchmade Emissary prototype is going to be $160. All right, mark my spot again. It's getting late, guys. I've been going at this for hours today, so bear with me. Next up, we have the Protect Godfather. This is a big knife. 
Again, I wish I could carry autos. This wouldn't be too big for me, but I would 100% pick up a godson. But if you're a bigger guy, you like bigger knives, man, this one's nice. It's a nice knife. You talk about uh, some pokey pokey. Quick, uh, quick deployment. And uh, this one's made for one thing and one thing only would be my guess. I can't see any other rational explanation for this knife. And I'm sure if you ever needed it, you'd be good to go. 154 CM blade still. Uh, price on the Godfather is going to be $180. Next up, we have a very interesting Spyderco. Spyderco uh, Alicione. I'm probably screwing that name up, so I'm just going to let you read it. There we go. This one is uh, CTS BD1 blade steel. Has some very interesting scales on it. Actually, feel good. Liner lock, very good ergos. Spyderco always kills it with ergos for the most part. Pretty good action for being new and being on washers. Yeah, yeah, not bad at all, actually. And price on the uh, Alision, Alision, uh $49. Next up, we have the Spyderco Polestar. This one has been upgraded with uh, micarta scales, but the seller cannot remember who made these scales, but they feel really, really nice. This one is also CTS BD1 blade steel. Another liner lock -like with ridiculously good access to the liner. Great washer action. Great detent. Spidey flick is money. Thumb flick is money. Price on... The Polestar, which I got to say is an interesting name, Polestar. Makes me think stripper for some reason. Uh, but anyway, price on the Polestar is $79 with the aftermarket micarta scales. Next up, we have a very special knife, guys. This one's truly special. Um, I have a review of this knife, but not this one in particular because this one's never been taken out of the package. But I had a user here that I did an overview of. This knife is the Boker M4 Sherman that Damascus blade is made from an M4 Sherman tank. Let's go ahead and get that. To... Yeah. It's... And I, if you go watch my overview of this knife, I go into the details of the guy in America that did the Damas steel or the Damascus, Damast, whatever you call it. He built, he did it for Boker. This is one of their uh, premium knives made in Italy. It's in this sealed pouch so you can display it. You can't open this if you ever wanted to. Um, I'm not going to open it. The owner has never opened it, so we're just going to leave it just like this. But I go over why they use burlap micarta. I go over all the details of this knife. I love this knife. And this is, out of every knife here, if I had the money, this would be the one I would buy. Uh, this is tr a true piece of history on this knife. 100% piece of history. It's literally, the blade is literally made from an N4 Sherman tank and forged here in America, but the knife is made in Italy. Um... Or is it Germany? I can't remember. It's been a while since I reviewed it. I'm pretty sure it's Italy. It may say, may not say. Cannot remember. But it's one of those. It's not a Chinese knife. And uh, price on the Boker M4 Sherman is going to be $380. This is a special one here, guys. True piece of history. You set this thing up somewhere with a light on it. It's a display piece. All right, next up we have some scales. We have a set of uh, RC Bladeworks skinny scales for a Spyderco Shaman. Excellent condition. Price on these skinny scales from RC Bladeworks for the Shaman. These are red burlap micarta, by the way, 40 bucks. Next up we have uh, RGT uh Micarta scales for the Benchmade Bugout. These are the bluish looking, like denim micarta bugout scales. Really good looking. Price on the bugout scales and denim micarta are going to be from RGT uh, 20 bucks. 20 bucks. It's a great deal. Next up, we have uh, Sharp Dress Knives Micarta scales for the Spider Coat Smock. And these have been marked down. Ignore that 40. Price on these are going to be $30. I um, guess if I could try to pull one out so you guys can actually see it. Get 
one out of here with one hand. Bear with me. Sorry if you're getting motion sickness here. There you go. Very deep, dark, with like a uh, maroon color on these. Feel very good in hand. Uh, price on the smock scales, $30. Uh, get this back in the pack here. And the last set of scales we have here, some more bug out scales. These are Flytanium Crossfade G10 scales. Uh, price on these is going to be uh, $20 for some uh, Flytanium Crossfade G10. These are the black ones. All right, next up we have a Wee Coolix. This one has seen a little bit of use, has been anodized, uh, 20 CV blade still, fantastic action. I've made a few videos with this knife, uh, showed you how to get rid of the button stick and all kinds of good things. Oh, under the camera, Jamie, don't look under the camera, look at the knife. But fantastic action, great knife, be a great user. Great deal for somebody on this one, since it has been anodized, has a little bit of use, price on this one's $130. Next up. Uh, Petrified Fish PF929 D2 blade steel G10 handles. This is a great knife, great blade shape, very good ergos on this knife. Price on the Petrified Fish $25. Next up, Kaiser Urban Bowie 154cm blade steel, natural micarta scales, excellent condition. Price on the Urban Bowie is going to be $35. Next up, Six Leaf SL11 D2 Blade Steel. Great front flipper. Micarta scales, although they're more of a polished micarta, but they are micarta. Has seen a little bit of use, but still in excellent condition. Price on the SL11 is $25. Next up, the Sincunt Tynan. This is 10 CR15 MOV Blade Steel. Very good knife, very good ergos. Super thin and slicey. Love the finish on this one. If it has a little weight to it, feels good in hand. Price on this one's $35. Next up, Tucson TS21 D2 Blade Steel. One of Tucson's old school knives. One of the best bangs for the bucks out there. And this one's an even better bang for your buck. D2 Blade Steel, price on the TS21, $40. Next up, we have a Vist Variant PE1. This one I have anodized, this mint green color. And I have acid etched the blade. Shows a little bit of signs of use on there. It's not perfect, but it's in pretty good shape overall. Has fantastic action. Price on the Vist variant. This is variant one. This does not have a front flipper. This is the OG variant. Price on this knife will be $50. This is titanium. 50 bucks for the variant PE1. Next up, we have Tactile Knife Co. Bear. This is the 20CV version. Has the lanyard on it. Does not ha does not come with the box, but it does come with a Northwoods Leather Co. slip. And overall, it's in fantastic condition. Be a great user for someone. Has some marks, shows some signs of use for sure. I have carried it quite a bit, but it has an excellent edge on it. And uh, price on the bear with the slip is going to be $140. Next up, we have Vero Engineering Mini Impulse. Great knife here. Fantastic detent on this one, man. This detent is absolutely dialed in. Great knife, great size. More my size than the regular Impulse. Um, even as a Mini, you can see what I got there. But uh, M390 blade still, this thing is in like new condition. Just fantastic action. Fantastic detent. You can hear that detent clip in. You hear that? Oh man, so good. Price on the Mini Impulse in M390, $300. Next up, we have a uh, Dimco AD 20.5, the clip point version. This is the OS 10 version with the orange scales. Uh, new, con brand new, uh, not new condition, it is new. Price on this one, $140. And last, but certainly not least, we have a Civivi Backlash. I have a couple of these. Love these knives. Such a good knife. Such good ergos. Um, blade steel on this one is 9CR18 MOV. This one has the carver, uh, carbon fiber overlays. It's in fantastic condition. Has my fingerprints on it, but there are no scratches or anything on that blade. It's basically like new. Price on the uh, Civivi Backlash, 40 bucks.
And that's going to wrap it up, guys. I think I am done. It's been a long day, long few hours doing all this. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below. Or you can email me at bravo echo delta charlie knife cell at gmail.com. That's where you're going to email me if you want to buy a knife. That's where everything's going to be handled. That's the only way I can do it and keep it uh, organized. So don't comment below, say you want to buy a knife. Send an email to that email address. Let me know which knife you want to buy. But check, check in the description first to see if the knife says sold or not. All right, guys. I think that's going to do it. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. If you've lasted this long, you're amazing. You, uh, you just had to watch. Imagine having to take them all out, put them back in, take them out, put them in, record the video, splice it all together, upload it, do the description, put it all in there. It's a lot of work, guys. So uh, I appreciate all you guys, and I will see you on the next one.